What's happening, everybody? Justin and AJ here outside the Bandai Spirits pop-up shop going on right now at Anime Jungle in Los Angeles. We're very excited to take you on a nice little tour of the store. Uh, if you have any questions or there's something you want to get a closer look at, go ahead and leave the comments. we got Steven over at the studio popping up the comments, and I'll be able to answer your questions. Yeah, he didn't want right? to join us, but... <laughs> yeah. If you're in the area, come on down, say hi, we're hanging out. Uh, but let's get this party started, all right? Yeah, ready, AJ? let's go. I'm going to be Van White. Let's walk in. So it looks just like a theater. So we're going to go right in here. Of course. Oh, wait, uh, hold on. Let me get a cool shot of, like, go to the outside. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Some Goku action there. So it looks like a looks theater. Like a movie theater. Some Gundam action. Now, of course, we're going to keep our, obviously, mask on, sanitize, and everything like that because safety first. <laughs> so as soon as we walk in, it's all nicely lit, you know, keep the mood right. And right off the bat, we see Godzilla. And so, of course... Just like that, Godzilla is also available right here under the Tokusatsu and Others category. And Others. And Others. <laughs> so you can see things like we have Kamen Rider model kits. We have a Voltron from Tamashii Nations. And then, this is the really cool one for me, is all these Batman stuff from Hobby. So yeah. there's a Tumblr. Then there's the other Batman. And there's a display of the new Batmobile from what? the Batman. I don't think I've seen that, which uh, shocks me since I run <laughs> the Hobby Social. <laughs> You do not get Gundam popcorn. <laughs> Speed ball horror, our buddies. Speed ball horror. Dude, Gundam, Gundam popcorn, popcorn, popcorn sounds so cool. Why didn't we think of that? Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't seen the uh, new Batmobile either. That's exciting. Yeah, right. Like, that's like a surprise to me. I think right. I just might be an announcement <laughs> at this point. And then this is the um, Amplified, the amplified yeah. uh, kit that we gave away last week. Yeah. So, uh, winner, you know, make sure you tag us on that. Uh, right off the bat, you know, on, on below it, you can see some of the kits. So, some, again, Common Rider, Voltron, some Chogokin stuff along with Tamashi effects and some stands because I know how important it is to keep stands with your figures. I always got to have a one-to-one. -one. So if I have like 100 figures, I need 100 stands. So much. Yeah. Yeah. Some Voltron action. It looks so good. <laughs> and then moving oh, wait, on. Do you know the answer to this question right here? What is it? Saw the GM 40 RX. They didn't saw the Sandrock and Heavy Arms display, but not on the... Shelf. Where can we get those? Well, when we look through, we'll make sure. So, yeah. Are you talking about? So it's like, is that the is that universe? Because he said, wait, oh, we want to go one way. I lost the question. Me can you too. Put it back up, Stephen. There you go. Saw the Samrock and Heavy Arms on display. So the funny thing is, those can also be universe or model. Yeah. Kit. Are we talking model kits or are we talking uh, the Gundam universe? Like I got the Samrock right here. <laughs> So let us know. All right. So uh, here we have a combination of both. Actually. Yeah. So we've got ourselves just pretty much gunner. So we have some model kits on the very top, and we have Penelope on the bottom as far as model kits go. But in between, we've got Universe from Tamashi Nations. So right off, you can see we got like Wave 1 and Wave 2. I think that's Wave 3 and 4 down there, but good amount of Universe to pick from. Yeah, there's a lot of Universe these days. Yeah, especially if you have like the RX. Because <laughs> this is one of those classic ones, especially from Wave One. It's always hard. Once like Wave One passes, it's always hard to find it. You know, right? So Penelope. Yeah, the big, one. the big box. And then again on display, we have some stuff from Universe, as well as that metal build. Oh yeah, look at the metal build. It's so fancy. That's the freedom concept too. Yeah. And then more people will be coming in, so you know things will get a little bit louder, oh, but yeah. we'll do our best. And then again in between the shelf, more Universe because why not, right? Like. I mean, there's the heavy arms and there's that sand rock. So hopefully that person uh, gets back to us on that. Are there new exclusives each week? Huh? Are there new exclusives each week? Mm, for the hobby? I'm not sure. I'll have to go ask and I will tweet it out when I find out that yeah. answer. Usually we have a, a lot of times we'll get like a list the week of, uh, yeah. but we haven't gotten a list yet. So I apologize for that. Yeah. And then this one is more strictly to the hobby side of Gundam, which is, you know, my favorite part because I love building. So right off the top. Two of the most popular ones. You have Death Scythe and Epion. I know how much you like Epion. Yeah, no kidding. So, if you missed out on, uh, if you don't have an Epion, you can get one down here. And then on display, we have some of the Gundam, Gundam <laughs> Battle Breaker Battle Log. Yeah, Gundam Breaker Battle Log. <laughs> Gundam Breaker Battle Log. <laughs> yeah, no, these are great. Uh, the only metal belt that's here right now is the this Freedom Concept. Yeah, line. and then there should be, like on display, we were going to put up the uh, Wing. So uh, we'll get to that once uh, you know, we have more time. 
so yeah, here's your Gundam Breaker battle log. Gundam action. Breaker battle log. Like this is the one I like the mo- like. I like this one because it reminds me of, like a common rider for blazing, but also the urban combat type looks really cool. And then one more lower, you've got yourself God Gundam oh. Hoggies. Yeah, like you have some of these fan favorites out here. Yeah. <laughs> you even have like the one one hundreds from uh, IBO. Fantastic. Yeah. And some Blue RG Gundam at the bottom, action. RG action. Especially when it's a uh, high new over there. Oh, okay. Um, in between. You get yourself. Oh, I got my Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that that's how you're going to call it. I was like, here's the dome type. Oops, oh, the Rick James type. <laughs> oh, but then we also have the big boy, too. The high yeah. resolution. That For the straight? Oh, yeah, with, with the, the big, big arms. Super arms. <laughs> the one that got jacked and buff. <laughs> and he said, yeah. I am done being regular arms. I got to go training. It looks really cool. <laughs> Why didn't I build that one? <laughs> All right, moving on down. All right, so again, more kits. This one, I know a lot of people are talking about it. Virtue, look how big this box is! Like, yeah, that's a monster. Holy crap, <laughs> it's really good. Like, compared to the Curios, you're just like, Ugh, right there. <laughs> and oh my gosh, you have Virtue, Curios, and Dynamis together along with Double O Riser. So, that's just a good shelf in general if you just like that series. Oh, and then you yeah, have you them displayed. See his big old legs. Yeah, the chunky legs. I remember I asked people, do you want it with the armor on or up? <laughs> yeah, keep it all together so you don't lose yeah. it. Yeah. Then down the yeah. yeah, this is the one with the weapons, so always got to have those weapon stuff. Those are fun to put together, too. Yeah, because the entry grade is uh, the easiest to build, but it's also... I really like the entry grade. What else? We have some more high grades. And of course, we have like different types of the goof. What? Right oh, there. Yeah. Everyone loves those. Do you? Well, Justin, you gotta be careful. I know how you are. <laughs> you I know. If you heard any joints popping, that's, that's just me. <laughs> that's Justin needing to go to the doctors. <laughs> we have the down there. And it looks like we have age units at the bottom. I know a lot of people want more age kits, so. Oh, cool. Okay. Some paint action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you love customizing your kits and everything, and you just don't have a place right off the bat, but you are here in LA, Pop Up Shop has plenty of paint for you to choose from, as well as other uh, accessories for customizing. And I was like yesterday years old when I learned that our display paints, there's nothing in it. <laughs> there's nothing in it, yeah. Because <laughs> then my room would smell like paint. Sure, sure. Makes sense. Yeah, and then right off the bat, you have a wall of accessories. Sure. sure. That includes like bases, nippers, uh, looks like blades, and all that jazz. That also like masking tape, even the even this board. So yeah, lot of stuff. markers for crying markers. Out loud. Those are markers fun. are really fun. I like messing around with the markers and realize I'm not that great at this. So I need someone to teach me to be better. A lot of action. Yeah, and so then, if you don't want to use your teeth to, to pull them off of the runners... Oh my goodness, don't say that. Xavier would be <laughs> Xavier and David would be highly against that. Okay, so now we're moving over to the exclusives. Yes, this is what people really like. People love the exclusives. And you know it's an exclusive when like, it's like a monotone one color. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we have Barbatos right here. Barbatos on the like, top shelf. Limited item. So we have that one, a whole stock full of those. And then a lot of people's favorite, again, Death Side. Exclusive. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Does Talk. Then you got the new Gundam on there with the clear color. And is this? That's what I think it is. That's a Zaku Warrior, I think. Yeah. Wow. This is Zaku Warrior. You're good at this. <laughs> Man, after <laughs> I got a thing for yeah, Zaku. That's very impressive. And then again, you have the whole display of some of these exclusives. My favorite <laughs> right there, the Hell Kitty RX. Hmm. Oh, what's that question? Teeth work is good. <laughs> That's awesome. Finally got nippers. Game changer. Teeth work are expensive. <laughs> yeah, man. Are teeth true? over and over just don't hold out well compared to nippers. So I'm pretty sure we have the Hello Kitty here, too, by the way. Yep, I see it <laughs> when we get there. Well, I'm happy you got some nippers. It's, it's a game changer. <laughs> is that the iron-coated Barbados? I think so. Oh, it's fine, kids. No, this is the titanium finish. Titanium iron, finish. The iron coated would be the high grade, I believe, and that is a smaller box. 
Let me just fix the boxes. I made a mess. Okay. <laughs> Joseph can't just come in here and make a mess. <laughs> the retail side of me can't handle that. <laughs> All right, here you go. Some Force Impulse Titanium finish. So that's that really shiny stuff right there. I, I feel so bad. Like every time I put them, I'm like, oh, you're so glossy. I love it. Right. <laughs> so this is that uh, Barbatos right there. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes. The titanium finish. The titanium yeah. finish. So that's the one that was on that top shelf. Yeah. It looks a lot better in person, especially with the finish. Uh, obviously, like, there's always something about, like, pictures can never do justice to seeing it finished and up close in person. Yeah. Uh, it says clear color how much? Which one are we talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which clear one? Sorry, we've covered a lot already. Oh, the, the Barbados clear. The Barbados? Well, this Barbados is a titanium finish, but he oh, is 100. A yeah, he's 106. If they're talking about... I didn't see a Barbados clear color. One exists, but it's, but not, it's here. not here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So whatever we're showing, like on the shelf, that's what's here. So if we don't, if you don't see it, then that just means it's yeah. not here. <laughs> I do remember the clear color Barbados during uh, the Gundam Online Expo. Yes. And then there is a heavy arms clear. Yeah, and then my hair G40, the one with the coolest one. looking box on there with a shiny, uh, a shiny gloss onto that. I love it. Oh, the Dubai Gundam's here too. Whoa, where'd you see that? It's right there, that bottom left. Oh, yeah, line. look at that. Yeah, ambassador of the Japan Pavilion. Easy cheesy, no passport required. Yeah, then the Hello Kitty one. Hello Kitty, yeah. That's clear. But the uh, the clear heavy arms, if you're asking, that's 20 bucks. And then the crossbone is 66. Yeah, we'd be more than happy to ask if you guys want to know what the pricing were on some of this just before you guys head down. Uh, moving right along, we have some One Piece. So if you oh guys. My gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Mike's Monsters is in the house. He just wanted to help <laughs> it. Oh, if you're here, who's on here? <laughs> who's commenting as Mike? Weird. What a surprise. <laughs> if you've read my One Piece chapter this week, that's a game changer, too. Oh, yeah, One Piece. By the way, I'm on episode 20, so I'm at a you, whopping 2%. <laughs> you have a lot of tickets. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I'm through a uh, bit. Yamato 2202 from Star Blazers. Oh, do they take Apple Pay here? Do you know the answer to that? Yeah. Oh, I'm about to go ask we'll you. We'll find out for you. You're going to go hear me on my mic. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll find out. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's go question. ask for one oh, second. Please. Hold on. Some Dragon Ball action. Some entry grade kits. Good news. You can use Apple Pay. All right. <laughs> I had to mute myself so it doesn't look weird on the camera. Dude. <laughs> Just hear me out there. Excuse me, sir. I uh, don't have an answer for you on when the exclusives are changed quite yet. Um, I will definitely we'll get find out an and then we'll post it on the uh, at Bandai Hobby US social channels. I like how right now it looks like really cool silhouettes until you unlock a fighter in a video yeah. game. <laughs> turn off the because the oh, light's blinding the glass. That, oh safe. man! Well, oh, they're just gonna have to be unlocked. They're gonna have to be locked characters until you uh, get past that little wall. <laughs> yeah, Imagination Works Vegeta is really fun. Yes. We did a live unboxing of that. Feels great. It's an interesting scale, but once you play with it and you see all the different face and eye options and everything, oh, I it, love that when it does it. Great. Just because I'm like, I'm gonna make them look to the left and to the right. Sailor Moon. I know you're a big fan of Sailor Moon, AJ. I do. I do like that. These are the new colored versions, so it's a lot more. Brighter and pops right into the collection compared to some of the older ones that have released. Whoa. The mood lighting really right. <laughs> Well, it's no good on the glass. <laughs> you just see like a giant light on the glass. So, I mean, that's cool. If we had put the moon behind it, oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think they were out at the moon store. <laughs> um, fair enough. You know, one moon. Need to look good, especially the box, like the packaging for it. Like, I'm a big sucker for really good packaging, and yeah. the fact that they're all colored, coordinated, and everything like that. And if you put to the side, a shell, like just the silhouette of it, oh, yeah, of each pretty. character, it's really good if you put them on a shelf. There are P Bandai exclusives here uh, The Darkness 48, 
Uh, they just get kind of rotated throughout the duration of the pop-up. Yes. And the pop-up's here for a while. Yeah, I believe it's a May 8th. Yeah, so there's plenty so of time. So this to corner visit. gets a little shoddy with the, um, the Wi-Fi, so hopefully uh, you don't lose it too much. Mm -hmm. But So right now we're looking at restaurants. We got some of that Pokemon stuff, and my favorite... Millennium Puzzle from Yu-Gi-Oh! I have built two already. Two! <laughs> and it, it took me the first time, I believe, it was like two hours and something minutes. Now I was able to solve it in like 30 minutes, so <laughs> good to know. I do like that they built it. And on display is the sarcophagus. So those who even play like the card game, Gold Sark, that's a good effect. Choose a card, and then for two turns, it goes away and then goes to your hand. So now you can put it as a model. Can you put kit. your cards in there and just drop the sure you can, on the table? I'm pretty sure like, you can fit your cards play. in there. Like it's really long enough to fit your deck box. Um, is as a deck box and even dice. Didn't Yu Gi Oh have like the cool card launcher thing that you could attach to your wrist or something? Like <laughs> yeah, that? the dual deal. <laughs> Publica made one. I wish. <laughs> gotta get you one of those. Look I at do these. have one. I enjoy <laughs> all these. Pokemon Monkey. Yeah, my favorite is like Lucario because Lucario kit comes with both Lucario and Riolu. What? And that is like one of the, the fan favorites. And I know like Ash has one, and I gotta I rep every time Ash gets like a new Pokemon on his team, like I gotta have that in my game. And there's like a really cool silhouette of Arceus. And you know, we were playing Legends Arceus. Arceus. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. We have Eevee, again, Pikachu, oh, and like Eevee. And she has swappable faces, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. it's super cute. Eevee, you can have uh, it's like the, this one. The, the kind and gentle or the happy-go-lucky. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Super cute. We have Lugia and Oh, look at this guy. Oh, oh dude, Machine Drummond? Like, there's a display of him above, but the box itself, like, I yeah, love all the figurized, <laughs> like, the amplified stuff for Digimon. Like, the art alone, uh, since I play the TCG, every time I look at the art, I would put it as a play mat. <laughs> like, it could be for my for my computer, or when I actually go out and play the card game. Any Jujutsu Kaisen or Demon Slayer stuff? I don't There is Demon, Demon Slayer, Slayer, yeah. But not Jujutsu Kaisen right now. There is... If there is Demon any Slayer. changes or updates, uh, we, of course, will uh, put okay, it out there. Yeah. yeah, And it's just a matter of, you know, product being available. Yeah. Uh, we like to restock the pop-up shop as often as possible. Yeah, so right now here you have my boy Zenitsu. Uh, yeah, know, your boy. I, yeah, my boy. I know how Justin <laughs> feels about him. He'll, trust me, well, that time will come. I believe in it. Yeah. And then you have another oh, figure of Zero. Oh, wow. <laughs> right there. You have him with his flame. Not the water wheel, <laughs> but the fire wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of wheels. Yeah. Oh, is that a Nezuko one right here? Yeah, it's a couple of Nezuko left. Cute. So you have Nezuko right there. And, and then, then here they are all on display, by the way. Yeah. Figure heads are always look great on display together. Kind of have like a little action pose going. Yeah, they look amazing all together. And then the one right here that you see of uh, Tanjiro is actually the a model kit, kit yeah. which is also available. Look at how great that fire looks. I know. So Your light, light is made. Yeah. Your light is amplifying it. Like right there. Funny. Yeah, so if you're uh, if you want to dive into model kits and like Demon Slayer, that's the perfect line. Did we see any Ultraman stuff over there in the Tokusatsu? I believe there is no Ultraman. No stuff Ultraman. Over there. I know. There's Common Rider though, and as a member of Team Rider, I'm okay with this. And then here are some. <laughs> Figure arts mini. Right. Always adorable. Yeah, you have like all the Hashiras. You even got Beetlejuice. <laughs> I remember that game. That was a fun <laughs> game. I, again, with all the packaging for mini, they're so cute. So, like, if you know what happens in the manga, you know that her and him are going to be in the next season. Okay. So, I can't wait. So, you pick them up before the, the third season starts. Yeah, these ones just came out, too. Yeah. Well, cool. Mark Nezuko. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Oh, I see an Uzi What figure arts DBZs are available for purchase? Right now, it looks like there's just Goku and a Goku and then the, the Goku Black. Yeah, but we're also here at Jungle as well. Yeah, 100%. So there's uh, right next door, there are a ton of Dragon Ball SHF available. 
Oh, yeah, they have extra grades. Vegeta and Goku. The duo. <laughs> but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Steven has the um, the address going along the bottom of the screen there. Uh, I don't believe there are any mini plug kits here. Yeah, mini plug is uh, uh, one of those things where I, every time there is, it's usually kind of tough to get for us. But uh, hopefully, you know, I'm pushing to hopefully get more because I love the mini plug line itself, especially since it's like Sentai related. Right. Oh, that one looks so good. <laughs> the Lumen <laughs> Luna Mario Hawk. So nice. And it's available. There you go. Yeah, if there's anyone who has a question on how much something was that you may have seen, uh, more than happy to let you know. Oh, did you show them the One Piece ships? I did not. No. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's all One Piece this week. So sure. <laughs> you got the Going Merry and the Thousand Sunny. Rip Going Merry. <laughs> do they have that here right now? I don't think so. I think it's for Let's display because yeah. I know uh, it's out. we just, it's here, we yeah. just <laughs> got like news about them. So these are things that are coming. So, whoa. Uh, I didn't see a titanium coated Destiny RG, did you? Destiny? Uh, I do not. That is a negative. On yeah. If it's on display, I mean, this is one of those things where, again, if any of the exclusives swap out, yeah. uh, we're more than happy to let you guys know, like, hey, this week uh, are these ones. Uh, so, you know, that way, if you're in the area, you don't miss out on your chance to get, because I know how hard it is to get uh, exclusive Gunpla. Right, 100%. And I want you guys to get all your exclusive Gunpla. Uh, but typically, it was every other Friday, new exclusives were available. Uh, well, again, just stay tuned to App and I have a US on social media for an update on. Yeah, I'll get down to it. I'll ask all the brand managers, like, hey, the people want to know. And you represent the people. I love the people. Who doesn't? People's champion, AJ. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Any uh, last requests over here? Oh, here's a Naruto statue. Oh, yeah. This is this is the cool. I know if David was here, he would have taken a photo of this like in a heartbeat. So all you Naruto fans, there is an awesome statue. You can take a photo. Like, Good man, him. This is the Hokage right here. <laughs> this is before he was the Hokage. <laughs> this guy can beat me up. <laughs> I'll help you. I'll do the rest thing, guy. For you. <laughs> That's um. My one piece on display. Yep. And then we have Ultima. I know he had uh, sold out right now at the pop up shop, but I know he is currently available right next door at Jungle. Correct. So if you really want Ultima, you head on over. 20 steps away. <laughs> it might even be less. Might even be less. I take big steps. <laughs> <laughs> One hop. Yeah, I don't know if I can get it. Any, yeah. That's a long tail, man. That is. Can we do like all his unboxing and everything? Well, cool. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you for tuning in. AJ, any last words? Uh, you know, if you're in the area, come visit. Take a photo with the Naruto statue, because it's like your first, like that's my first time seeing one. I'm going to take a photo with it. Uh, I'll share it on my own social media channel. But, yeah, come by. Uh, look around. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a wonderful day.